Many consider the lion to be the most dangerous land predator on the planet. Lions are indeed strong and formidable, but even these kings of the jungle have worthy opponents, and there are many of them. From huge herbivores and brash dogs to tiny creatures that can easily finish off the predator. In this episode, I'll show you animals that are 100 times stronger than a lion. Let's go! Let's start with the heavy one. African bush elephants are the largest land animals, not only in Africa, but in the whole world. Whether you're a cowardly antelope, a toothy crocodile, or even a lion, you'll have to reckon with the strength and size of an elephant, whether you want it to or not. Lions are much smaller than elephants, literally dozens of times smaller. It's normal for an elephant to weigh about 5 tons, although there are 10-ton individuals, while an adult lion doesn't often weigh more than 450 pounds. Add to this the elephant's enormous height, which can reach almost 13 feet, as well as thick and impenetrable skin, and you'll get an animal that's 100 times stronger than a lion. Sometimes an elephant doesn't even need to attack lions. Lions often scatter simply at the sight of this giant. Elephants are not predators, so they don't scare lions to eat. This is how they protect their territory, their offspring or relatives. One lion will do literally nothing to an elephant, even if it's incredibly powerful. Its strength is simply not enough for such a giant. What's more, even if a whole pride of lions attack an elephant, it doesn't always guarantee their success. Lions defeat elephants very rarely and try not to mess with them. Nile crocodiles live next door to lions. They're not the largest in the world and are inferior in size, bite force, and aggression to saltwater crocodiles from Southeast Asia. They're the second largest crocodiles in the world, but their size is more than enough to deal with a lion. In addition, unlike the elephant, the crocodile is a real predator. It's a top predator. Hardly anyone in their right mind would dare to attack a crocodile to eat it, but lions sometimes do it. There's a nuance, though. Lions are so brave with crocodiles when they're in a pride, and when the reptiles crawl onto land, lions have an advantage, especially in a group. But in water, crocodiles are a hundred times stronger than lions. They don't mind eating a big cat that dared to swim into their possession. I can't say that lions are great swimmers, so in the river they can hardly do anything against the toothy monster. Besides, crocodiles have much tougher skin, and their bite is much stronger than that of a lion. The king of the jungle shouldn't get into trouble. As strange as it may sound, even dogs can be more dangerous than lions. But of course, not all of them. For example, a dog can be very bold and self-confident, and then it's able to defeat a lion even without a fight, just by intimidating it. As practice shows, lions get confused when someone small starts pouncing on them. They don't understand how this is possible and seek to get away from the crazy enemy. But there are special breeds that have been specially bred as rivals to lions. The Rhodesian Ridgeback, for example. Originally, Rhodesian Ridgebacks took part in hunting in groups of several dogs and chased lions with great agility. Because of this, they are even called lion dogs. Nowadays, this happens very rarely, but genetics cannot be removed. Even modern Rhodesian Ridgebacks can give lions a beating. In particularly rare cases, lions can be confronted by other dogs. For example, large mastiffs. These giants are of record-breaking size amongst dogs, and they don't lack strength. A mastiff can at least repel a lion's attack, and at the most, they can come out of the battle an absolute winner. But still, much more often, lions are confronted by other dogs, African wild dogs. These dogs, similar in appearance to hyenas, are considered to be almost the best hunters of the continent. If they hunt in a pack, their hunts are successful 80% of the time. This statistic is about twice as good as that of lions. In a pack, African wild dogs can easily corner a lion and massacre it. These predators often terrorize the kings of the jungle, and they fear them. Hyenas are the bitterest rivals of lions in all of Africa. Not because they were shown as such an animated movie, The Lion King, and everyone suddenly started to think so. The movie actually vividly reflects the real picture that's always been there. Hyenas and lions occupy the same ecological niche, hunt the same animals, and fight for the same territories. So clashes happen very often. Yes, in a one-on-one -on -one fight, a hyena has almost no chance against a lion, and certainly not against an entire pride. 
A hyena that's entered the lion's neighborhood alone is a gift and an easy target for the kings of the jungle. But the opposite happens when a lion is in a hyena's territory. Well, or when they just track it down somewhere and surround it. In this case, the king of the jungle has almost no chance. It can only rely on the help of its conjurers or escape. Hyenas hunt in clans of several dozen individuals. These gigglers are characterized by aggression and the strength of their bite is even greater than that of the lion. Such a gang of hyenas can easily kill any lion or even a couple of the big cats. The hippo is probably the most dangerous herbivore in the whole world. Despite the fact that by all the usual canons of nature, this fat big creature should be peacefully nibbling grass and resting, the hippo likes to take part in fights and scare everyone around. A hippo will never attack a lion or anyone else without a reason. But if a lion encroaches on its territory, it'll sign a death sentence for itself. Hippos do not tolerate outsiders and very violently chase them out of their domain. For this reason, most often clashes with hippos and lions occur at watering holes where hippos live. A lion may simply come to a watering hole but will not return to its pride. It's practically useless for a lion to fight with a hippo. Only in very rare cases do the predators manage to defeat these huge animals if the hippo loses its balance and falls. It's unrealistic to break through such a monster with teeth or claws, and even to escape from it is not so easy because hippos are very fast despite their huge weight. And if the fight takes place in water, then the lion has no chance at all in a direct combat. It can only escape, as in the case of crocodiles. The rhino is not as aggressive and reckless as the hippo, but it can't be called kindly either. These creatures are quick-tempered. They have terrible eyesight, which is why they can take literally anything and any one for an enemy. In terms of size, they take the second place in Africa after the elephant. Maybe they don't have giant fangs like hippos, but they do have a very long, strong, and sharp horn. Together, all these factors make the rhino an extremely dangerous opponent for the lion. As in the case of elephants, rhinos sometimes don't even need to attack lions. Lions often run away, barely seeing these giants. After all, it's not very pleasant when a huge mass of several tons is coming or running at you. A large rhino can easily crush a lion because it's a full-fledged live tank. Usually, rhinos sort things out with lions for territory. They have no other reason for conflicts. After all, rhinos are herbivores, which means they cannot fight for food with lions. Even if lions come to recapture the territory with a whole pride, they're not always guaranteed success. Even one rhino can give them a fight. And if there are several giants, the lions will definitely be in trouble. It's time to compare the most famous big cats on the planet. Many people wonder which animal would win the battle, the lion or the tiger. In fact, both can win. But if these cats had a few fights, the tiger would win more often than not. And here's why that's true. First of all, the tiger is bigger than the lion. It's the biggest cat on the planet in general. If we don't take into account all sorts of hybrid animals like the liger, the tiger has bigger claws and teeth. And it has sharper claws and a stronger bite. Secondly, the tiger's a loner. When hunting, it relies only on its skills, and over hundreds and thousands of years of evolution, it's honed the mechanism of hunting to perfection. Lions, on the other hand, hunt in a pride, where any individual may not work to its full potential. Lions win by quantity and strength, while tigers win by strength alone. Thirdly, tigers are more agile and nimble. They're much better at climbing trees, much better at swimming, and have a wider arsenal of skills in general. Full-fledged fights between lions and tigers do not happen in the wild because lions live in Africa and tigers live in Asia. Clashes can occur in circuses, zoos, or some reserves. Nature's divided these animals into different parts of the planet for a reason, because otherwise tigers would probably exterminate lions completely. You don't have to be very big to stand up to a lion, and you've already seen that today with the case of dogs, but those were rather exceptions to the rule. Of course, if a lion prepares properly, it will defeat any dog without any problems. But things are not so rosy with snakes. In Africa, there are many dangerous snakes that pose a threat to the lion, and the most important threat is the black mamba. This snake is incredibly fast. 
impetuous, and aggressive. And the power of its venom is enough to finish off even an elephant. Lions can also get a dose of venom in some cases, for example, if they accidentally hit a black mamba or provoke it. In this case, the lion will not die immediately. First, it'll get worse. Then convulsions will begin, and after that, death will come. Any black mamba is a hundred times more dangerous than the lion because if the bite is successful, nothing will help the predator. However, it cannot be said that lions die from snake bites every now and then. Black mambas are not particularly interested in the kings of the jungle. Instead of wasting precious time on an inedible big cat, the black mamba will happily ruin a bird's nest or ambush a mouse. Lions have one more dangerous opponent, which is smaller than all the others I've shown you in this episode. It's the tick. Many animals suffer from ticks, and lions are no exception. And the most important thing is that the lion will not be able to do anything to the tick at all. It simply won't notice it. At the same time, the tick chooses the most tender places on the lion's skin, to which the animal will not reach with its teeth or paws, bites a hole there, and drinks blood. It may be just a bite, but in some cases, the tick can transmit dangerous diseases to a lion. Babesiosis, for example, it's a kind of malaria that's dangerous to cats. The famous lioness Elsa, who lived in Kenya's Meru National Park, died of this disease. That's all, guys. What animal do you personally consider to be the most dangerous opponent for a lion? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching, and see you later.